Hi, how are you? My name is Lena Timon and I want to thank you so much for stopping by my video. In today's video I'm going to talk about goal setting. I guess you, like most people, have made New Year resolutions many times to make changes in your life for the better. Most popular are of course resolutions dealing with losing weight or make more money. But how come that 25% of these people just quit after a week? Or that most resolutions are forgotten by March? What if I could give you a hint so that you are better prepared next time you are determined for a change? Let's take my dear husband as a great example. Every January 1st he has these greatest intentions about getting in shape and losing weight. And to get where he wants, he starts to exercise five days a week and make huge changes regarding his eating habits as well. No junk food, less on his plate, no nibbling in between meals. I would say he punishes himself every day instead of giving himself credit for getting started on better habits. And of course, it always ends up with a failure, I'm sorry to say, because he feels so sorry for himself after a while and the only comfort is of course to getting back to his old and safe habits again. My 15 year old son tells him that he's like everybody else in the gym with the new gym suits and new shiny shoes in January. After a couple of weeks they are all gone and he has more space for himself again. So what makes my son different? Well he came to me when he was nine years old and said mom I'm going to the Olympics in table tennis. And today that is still his goal. He knows for sure there are no quick fixes. And he knows that his long-term goal needs to be divided in smaller goals and his even baby steps sometimes. And that even a baby step can be measurable and counts towards his final goal. He reminds himself where he wants to be in six months, one year, two years and five years. So my tip to you regarding setting goals, once you have your goals set, keep them listed and break them down to smaller goals. Don't be so hard on yourself. Reward yourself for taking baby steps sometimes. Because you are moving forward. Ask me. One little step at a time. That's enough. If you truly feel that this is important to you, the change will come. So before closing, I have a confession to make. This is my first video in public. And I know that even if it sucks, I did it. And I have accomplished one of my important goals towards my bigger goal. And if you would like to more, know more about the formula to get started, please comment below and I'll reach out to you. So see you in my next video very soon. Bye.